Steve, you first started coaching Garrett Cole when he was an eighth grader. What are your recollections about those earliest interactions with him? You know, the funny thing was I was coaching at Orange Lutheran High School and his dad, Mark, used to come one day a week at the park there and ref soccer games. So for five minutes, like once a week, he would be in my ear just talking about Orange Lutheran. Um, he told me he has a son in seventh grade that they're thinking about Orange Lutheran, Servite, Modern Day, you know, the private schools in Orange County. He had said that he went to Servite himself and his wife went to Modern Day. So we're looking at those three schools. So just every, every once a week for about five minutes, it'd be matter. What's your Orange Lutheran experience? And I said, well, I'm a coach here, but, but more importantly, I'm a resident sub. So I show up every day to teach, not knowing where I'm going to be, kind of a first day of school syndrome every day, but the environment was so good. So I would tell him about how the environment is and uh, for a year, just, you know, one, one five minute conversation. And then finally in eighth grade, a year later, Mark brought Garrett out and said, hey, I wanted you to meet Garrett. This is the kid we've been talking about for a year and he's going to come to Orange Lutheran. I said, hey, great. So he said, do you have a team for him to play on? And I said, no, my youngest team is 15U, you know, and he's an eighth grader. It's all freshmen. So next year I'll have a spot for him. He said, well, why don't you give him a shot? And I said, no, that's a big transition for eighth graders to move up to play with a freshman. He's like, well, why don't you give him a shot? You know, and I'm like, I talked to this guy for a year. His kid's coming to the school. I'll give him a shot. So we brought him out. We're like, yeah, he could play. He could play with these boys. Coach, as immensely talented as he obviously is on a pitcher's mound, one thing I've noticed about him is his intelligence off the mound and his desire to really learn about the art of pitching and discuss it is, is also a big part of his personality. How much did you notice that about him in his teens? I think that's something that developed later, to be honest. Um, he was driven when he was younger. He was he was an athlete. I mean, he had to clean up for his high school team a lot. He had to clean up for our team, you know, a lot. He, he could hit, too. Um, and being that he was an athlete, he could have played other sports, but he was focused on baseball. Um, even if it wasn't that guy at 15 that you knew was going to be a major leaguer, probably in his mind he thought he was, like a lot of these kids. But it's not something that really stood out. You know, he was just really, really talented and threw really, really hard. Steve, in 2008, Garrett is drafted out of high school by the New York Yankees. And he grew up as a Yankee fan. And you were around at that time. He ends up deciding to go to UCLA and not signing with the Yankees. What do you recall about that time frame? He held firm to what, what he felt was the best for him and went to UCLA and ended up being the number one overall pick. You know, and as luck would have it, he earned the opportunity to be a free agent this, this offseason and, you know, had opportunities to, to go to the Yankees. And, you know, in, in my time of, of coaching baseball for the last 23 years, I've coached 50 major leaguers for different events and stuff. And you just don't see that. You just don't see guys getting a second chance to play for what their, their, their quote, favorite team is. A lot of times they don't get that chance or they get that one opportunity. And it looked like in 2008 he missed the shot to play for the Yankees, you know, but – as luck would have it, he worked his butt off, became arguably the best pitcher in baseball, and that opportunity came up again. If you were invited to a dinner that was honoring Garrett Cole and you had to speak and someone said, Coach, we just need you to get up there and tell us your most memorable Garrett Cole story, what story would you tell? Man, there's a lot. Garrett Garrett was kind of a Garrett was kind of a, a jokester, you know, in, in the dugout. And, and uh, the thing that we had, though, was – at that point, we had, I don't know, on any given roster back then, there's five or six guys that are in the big leagues now, you know, so these guys gave each other, you know, a hard time, you know, and stuff like that. And, um, you know, so I don't, there's nothing that really stands out. You know, there's just, there's a lot of Garrett moments, you know, a lot of funny things they did, but there's nothing that, that really stands out other than um, he was a different guy when he pitched. When he was pitching, he was focused that day. He wasn't the jokester. Don't mess with him. He's too serious. But on the days he wasn't pitched, almost to a point, he almost annoyed you sometimes because he was super loose those days. So what I really saw, though, is I saw him flip the switch on the days he was going to pitch. Even if he's playing outfield, the other day, he was just a different guy. But the days he pitched, he was really, really more focused and stuff then. I love the phrase Garrett moments. Yankee fans are hoping for a lot of Garrett moments in October as we head toward the postseason. Coach, we really appreciate you giving us some time today. Yeah, no problem.